In January 2025, the wall was hit. Only it was this wall, not the wall we all thought it was. Everything we thought we knew about artificial intelligence has changed again. Two seismic developments are shaking the AI world. OpenAI is about to unveil PhD level super agents, while DeepSeek's R1 has caught up to OpenAI's capabilities, proving there truly is no moat in AI development, as Dave Shapiro put it. We know that that China has merely duplicated, if not actually stolen, what America has been doing, and they've gotten pretty good at stealing, duplicating, and iterating. Since they run on communism and their government doesn't act in favor of their citizens, I don't necessarily trust their ethics. But then again, are any of today's tech oligarchs good people? And then we've got Trump in office in America, which will accelerate progress in America, unlike anything else. H has got folks like Elon Musk on his actual cabinet. Sam Altman said this on Trump's inauguration day. Listen in. I don't have too much to add, uh, but I did want to say I'm thrilled we get to do this in the United States of America. I think this will be the most important project of this era. And as Masa said, for AGI to get built here, to create hundreds of thousands of jobs, to create a new industry centered here. Uh, we wouldn't be able to do this without you, Mr. President, uh, and I'm thrilled that we get to. I think it'll be uh, an exciting project. I think we'll be able to do all of the wonderful things that these guys talked about. But the fact that we get to do this in the United States uh, is, is, I think, wonderful. So thank you very much. Could you just say one word? I, I hear so many positive things about what it's going to do for medical research and for solving things, cancer and all the different problems. How will AI help us with the fight against the various problems, diseases, etc. These guys can maybe share more about some of the work they're doing there. Uh, I think they'll jointly be some of the leaders about driving progress here. But I, I believe that as this technology progresses, we will see diseases get cured at an unprecedented rate. Uh, we will be amazed at how quickly we're curing this cancer and that one and heart disease uh, and what this will do for the ability of to deliver very high quality healthcare, the costs, but really to cure the diseases um, at a rapid, rapid rate, I think will be among the most important things this technology does. All of these parallel breakthroughs have created an incredible vortex of acceleration. But let's back up for a moment. We're witnessing something unprecedented in AI development. Google's product lead, Logan Kilpatrick, said right before the new year started that a straight shot to ASI is looking more and more probable by the month. This isn't just hyperbole. It's backed by concrete developments in scaling test time compute. What makes this moment especially significant is how the path to ASI is unfolding. Instead of the dramatic inflection point many predicted, we're seeing what Kilpatrick describes as something that will look a lot like a product release, with many iterations and similar options in the market within a short period of time. According to leaked reports and insider sources, OpenAI has achieved something unprecedented. AI agents that can operate at PhD level complexity across multiple domains. But that's only half the story. DeepSeek has made two groundbreaking developments. First, their R1 model has caught up to OpenAI's capabilities. But more importantly, they've created something potentially more revolutionary. DeepSeek R10, a model that can teach itself without human intervention. Think about that for a moment. Just like AlphaGo Zero became the world's best Go player through pure self-play, DeepSeek R10 is showing signs of autonomous self-evolution. The researchers didn't teach it to solve problems. They simply created the right environment and incentives, and it developed advanced problem-solving strategies on its own. This isn't just speculation. Major tech leaders are already responding. Meta's Zuckerberg announced they won't need mid-level software engineers by 2025. Salesforce has frozen engineering hiring, citing AI productivity gains. Multiple tech companies are restructuring their workforce in anticipation. Here's where it gets even more interesting. Jake Sullivan, the outgoing White House National Security Advisor, issued what he called a catastrophic warning. He compared the AI race to the Manhattan Project, but said even that comparison falls short. The stakes? Global technological supremacy. The development of ASI is taking multiple fascinating paths. 
First, OpenAI's PhD level agents showing unprecedented capabilities. Secondly, DeepSeek's dual approach, R1 matching OpenAI's capabilities, R10 demonstrating autonomous self evolution, SSI's straight shot to ASI with no intermediate products, scaling test time compute showing promising results. The DeepSeek R10 breakthrough is particularly significant because it shows that AI can improve its reasoning capabilities autonomously. While it's not yet ready for everyday use due to issues with readability and language mixing, it represents a crucial step toward artificial super intelligence. This aligns with Ilya Sutskaver vision at SSI of a direct path to ASI. What we're seeing isn't just advancement in capabilities, but in the fundamental way AI systems learn and evolve. The competition has reached a fever pitch with DeepSeek's R1 matching OpenAI's capabilities. This proves a crucial point. There is no moat in AI development. The barriers to entry are surprisingly low and progress is happening faster than anyone predicted. What makes this especially significant is Chinese company DeepSeek achieved this with fewer resources. They don't have the data centers, the compute power that America has, and the development cycle has shortened from years to months. Companies are forced to be more creative with limited resources. Knowledge and capabilities are spreading globally despite restrictions. This democratization of AI capabilities means no single company can maintain a monopoly. Innovation is happening simultaneously across the globe. The race to ASI is accelerating beyond previous estimates, and competition is driving unprecedented progress. The speed of development is absolutely wild. What was predicted to take a decade is happening in months. And with OpenAI's closed door briefing scheduled for January 30th, 2025, we're about to see the next chapter unfold soon. The impact on the job market will be huge, huge. I predict nearly all admin jobs gone by end of 2025. Highly skilled workers will be given 25x efficiency increases. Personal AIs that do all the entry level work for them. We're already seeing that in my company. First movers, all the repeatable workloads, the tasks you do day in, day out can be nearly fully automated. We've put together processes that eliminate the human completely. And I'm not talking about just any human, but actual experts good at their job. AI that is better than a human is officially here. What we believe in is using it to augment, to transform, to create superpowers for the humans you do have in your company. Lean companies really benefit from this. It's like adding 100 marketing heads without adding anyone. Traditional corporate hierarchies will be completely disrupted. New types of jobs will emerge around AI supervision, and we will see economic power concentrate around AI capabilities. The key is it will need to be decentralized and honed in to be specific and localized to work for the people. As we stand at this crossroads, several key developments are emerging. One, the path to ASI appears more gradual and product focused than we previously thought. Two, multiple companies are achieving similar capabilities within short time frames. Three, the democratization of AI capabilities might be the best outcome for humanity. Four, the race isn't just about reaching ASI first, but doing it safely and responsibly. As Google's lead Kilpatrick says, this more distributed iterative approach to ASI development might actually be the best outcome for humanity, preventing any single entity from monopolizing such powerful technology. Whether you're excited or concerned about these developments, one thing is clear. We're witnessing an absolutely historic moment in human civilization. The decisions made in 2025 will shape the future of humanity's relationship with artificial intelligence. ASI will be here, and I believe sooner than we think. I think 2027 would be a very safe bet, if not a bit late. It could be before then. I think AGI is mostly already here. We just need to think of it differently than a one-shot box AGI.
Drop a comment below with your thoughts on these PhD level super agents. Are you optimistic about this development or does it concern you? I'll see you down the next AI rabbit hole.